Hi everyone, Leah Stacey from Boomtown Table here and we've partnered with Visit Rochester to bring you on a whirlwind tour of our city's booming food and drink scene. Today we're taking you to four breweries that highlight our region's craft beer culture. Our first stop is Warbrock Brewing Company, the first craft brewery to open in Rochester. In 1991, John Erlob and his wife Patty tapped into the burgeoning craft trend after a trip to Rohrbach, Germany. Originally a small operation in the German house on Gregory Street, Rohrbach now has a downtown tasting room, a full-service restaurant, and distributes across the state. You guys were the first craft brewery in the Rochester area. Yes. So when the industry started, it wasn't how it is now. Can you tell us kind of what it was like to be in that field? Sure, you know, actually that was more than 25 years ago. So the biggest thing is that customers really didn't know craft beer. But I have to tell you, right from the beginning, we had a core group of customers that loved what we were doing, loved craft beer because it wasn't like domestic beer. It was not just micro, it wasn't just small, it was different. So how have you seen the industry turn in the last 25 years? I mean, it's getting a little crowded or is this a good thing? Rochester's actually becoming kind of a destination for yeah. people that are really into craft beer. It's like do the Jenny thing and then kind of pop over to Rohrbach or Three Heads or Rock or Lost Borough, Swiftwater. We're all in the city area, so it's really pretty cool. Everybody seems to be happy, so knock yeah. on stainless, things are going really well. can't have a conversation about beer in Rochester without mentioning Genesee, the 140-year-old brewery overlooking High Falls. Brewmaster Dean Jones constantly comes up with new additions to Genesee's Pilot Batch, a craft line that includes flavors like salted caramel chocolate porter and lilac honey IPA. A few miles from the roar of the Genesee sits Rock Brewing Co. What started as a couple of guys with a home brewing kit has turned into a bright South Union Street location featuring a growing brewing operation and a tap room. Owner and co-founder Chris Spinelli has also caught the attention of Sam Adams, resulting in several collaborations since the brewery opened its doors in 2011. CB Craft Brewers started 20 years ago when Kodak employee Mike Alcorn traded cameras for kegs and started brewing custom private label beers for local restaurants and bars. Eventually, the brand decided to brew their own line. Located in Honeyway Falls, the brewery also features Pint and Goblet Tavern, which serves gourmet burgers and a Sunday Funday brunch. Rochester has always been a city of invention, including a dynamic presence in the craft beer movement. Leave a comment with your favorite local breweries and stay tuned for more.